Okay, so here's a tutorial on how to use Ableton Live and uh, in combination with Soundflower. This is a program that you can download for free and it will allow you to record directly from GarageBand into Ableton and then from Ableton Live back into GarageBand. So once you've installed Soundflower, there's this nifty program that w works on your toolbar that you can set up. Allows you to configure things. Here we've got Live, setting it up to record. And now I'll go to GarageBand and I've got a loop already set up that I made in GarageBand. Notice the output for the audio setup is to Soundflower. You've got two options. 16 channel or 2 channel and I use both of those options one going one direction and one going the other so here we'll play the garage band you can hear it right there and it just plays directly through live you can you can tell that it's coming through here so we'll start recording And it rec records the WAV files directly and without having to use any cables. Now you'll notice I have this on loop record, so let me take that off. And it'll create a longer segment of sound here. Okay, and this is basically what I'll be taking the loop from within live because Live has this pretty cool option that um, enables you to sample things a little better and loop things. So I'll select the WAV file, and here I'll create my looped segments. And want it to go right here. So I'll create this a little bit longer. Here we go. And now I can play this loop, and I'll reset the loop option. Now notice the uh, the beats per minute, the metronome is 120. Also in GarageBand, it's 120. So that's important when you're first recording stuff. And we'll go ahead and set this timeline appropriately. Now what's cool with live is once you've got it in this loop mode, you can change the metronome. And here, sometimes you have to reset Soundflower. So now we can hear the actual audio coming out. And make sure that we don't have any cross-pollinization going on there. Now the great thing about live is we've got all these effects that we can add. So we can click on, let's see, let's make sure this is recording here. Now we're recording the actual sound that's coming out of live directly into GarageBand. And you can tell it's just looping there. Now there's some cool presets we can use, so I like this fill in the gaps. And it basically just changes kind of how the sounds are placed in the sound field. So from a very simple beat, you can create a really cool loop. And you can do some really weird stuff with it too. So it's fun just to kind of play around with what you can do once you've got an actual sound in live. Notice this whole time that we are recording directly into GarageBand. So sometimes, you, like I like to use GarageBand because it's pretty easy to set up beats. Okay, and now we're done there. Now in GarageBand you can also line these up uh, once you've got your WAV file. And now I have to reset. Yep. So we can actually hear what's coming out. Okay, and now 
gives you an idea of so we've recorded an actual wave file here of the live track that we made go ahead and mute that and I'll show you what I've been able to create here now let me just we can give you the original track and then the live file so here's the hip-hop kit and then this is just the live option that I made okay this is kind of the rest of the track that I loaded on top of it. So you've really got some good options here that you can use for creating music. And there's obviously a lot more that you can do, but it just makes it easier when you can record directly from one program to the other. So enjoy! Have a good time.